I'm here with my girl, Miss Tessa Thompson. You had such a great year. Dear white people, it's such a sleeper classic that people, a lot of people didn't catch on to, but I'm glad it's being awarded. I'm glad justice is being awarded. How did it feel to just be a part of that project? Incredible. I mean, from the moment I read it, I just thought this is such a special movie. Of course, you never know what is going to happen with the film. I didn't know that it would do so well at Sundance. I didn't know that people would respond to it, that it would have that kind of cult feeling about it. But I felt personally, if I get to do this movie, it will be... Um, one of the proudest moments in my career. It will be something that I look back at really fondly. And so the fact that all of this has happened around it is just uh, really exciting. And your career is taking off. I'm not sure. I'm sure a lot of that ball was rolling during that time and everything else. But how does it feel like to see people like really recognizing you and know, saying, "Hey, we want more Tessa and everything else." Oh well, that's really great. I mean, for me, the the. the the year has been so incredible because I've gotten to make two movies in both Dear White People and Selma that I'm so proud of and to work with filmmakers like Justin Simeon and Ava DuVernay who is literally, they're both making history in their way, not just in Hollywood but culturally and so that to me is such, is, is real pride. So I, I, you know, it's nice to be recognized but it's really special to be recognized for things that you, that you feel really proud of. And how about the irony of Justin and Ava both being studio publicists? and now direct the movie. Well, it kind of makes sense. I mean, I think both of them are so aware of the ways in which media creates culture. And they're both people that are interested in very different ways, but interested in creating a culture where we can dialogue about things. And so it makes sense to me that they would that they would both be such great filmmakers. Because they spend so much trying ti time trying to manipulate perception and also working inside of Hollywood and being like, I'm not seeing a certain kind of story told, so I want to tell it. And I gotta ask, I'll never do the fashion question, but this green leather get up, you gotta tell me like, who you wearing and everything. <laughs> the spark in a, in a man's eyes with talking about leather is very interesting. I am wearing Reem Acra. <laughs> you look gorgeous. I'm glad you're being recognized tonight. Thank you so much. I'm so...